Okay, so uh, hey guys, it's me again. Uh, it's been a few months, so yeah. Funny thing just happened to me. She, I was, I've been, I was sitting there for like two minutes. Actually, I think it was more like five minutes, just, you know, talking and stuff. And I, I look over, at, you know, the little blinky thing, the thing that blinks to tell you were recording. I'm like, wait a minute. I know I switched it over to camera or to video camera mode, but did I hit record? <laughs> it was recording for like five or ten minutes, and it wasn't even. Oh, life. Life is just funny sometimes. So yeah, for those of you that don't know, my uh, name is Michael Bowen and this is the third, fourth episode of As the Wheel Turns. So, welcome. So yeah, uh, as I said, it's been a few months and I guess what happened is I kind of got lazy, I guess, and depressed and I don't know. I mean, as you know, I'm a Christian and Sometimes the territory that comes with that is sometimes you go through spiritual attacks and sometimes you go through dry spiritual seasons in your life and I guess I was just going through one of those. It's like I said it started with me getting lazy and you know I was I was letting my thoughts get away from me just thinking about negative crap and uh, entertaining you know negative thoughts and I also uh, was entertaining lustful thoughts so because of that I fell into my old porn habit there for a while so I was going through that season a bit and the, uh, with God's help and with encouragement from friends and family and uh, my wife especially and just prayer and all that stuff I found my way out of that and I found my way out of what I was going through and uh, here I am you know and I'm you know, I'm, I still feel like I'm going through a dry season, but I feel I feel better. You know, I, I guess the the trick is that, in spite of what you're going through, to just keep living and and you know, keep keep your eyes on Jesus and just think positive and speak positive, be positive, and uh, you know, just arm yourself daily with uh, the Word of God and with the armor that's mentioned in Ephesians and surround yourself with people that are positive and encouraging and if you have anything negative going on in your life uh, or if you have negative people in your, in your life, weed that stuff out. It's not worth it. And I mean, you know, just like you, people have bad days too. So if, if those other people are also going through a bad spiritual season, bring bring it up to them and you know try to work it out with them. and. If they're just not willing, then, you know, just cut yourself off for a little bit, and... Yeah, I guess that's the best way to do it. So, uh, yeah. So, what do I talk about now? I don't know. Uh, hmm. Oh, um, another thing I, I've been struggling with is figuring out what to do with my life. You know, I mean... I have so much I want to do with my life, and there's a lot of, I'm not speaking, it might sound prideful, or, and I'm not trying to be prideful, but I have a lot of skills and a lot of things I'm good at, I have a lot of things I'm passionate about, and when you got that going on, it's just really hard to, you know, try to figure out something to do with your life, and my wife gave me a bit of advice uh, a few weeks back, she's just like, just do something, and you know what, it's that simple, just do something. And uh, if, a few years ago, before my wife gave me advice, uh, that advice, uh, my friend Gene, uh, he gave me some advice that I'll never forget. So Gene, if you're watching this, thanks. He told me, uh, it's actually scripture that he told me, he, he told me, uh, whatever you do in thought, word, or deed, do it for the glory of God. So that's another thing that I need to remember is, whatever I do, decide to do, to do it for the glory of God. And what I really, what I've come to the conclusion that I really want to do with my life, I want to do art and I want to be a writer. I mean, I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make a career out of that or make money from that. But I, I love to read and, and I have all the, I come up with all these uh, good story ideas and it's been a while since I've done art because I allowed myself to get discouraged with that, but... I'm trying to get back into that again, and so yeah, I'm gonna go back to college for reading and, uh, or not reading, writing and art and stuff, and yeah, you know what, we'll see how that goes, so. 
So yeah. And you know what? If you guys, if anyone watching this, if you guys need prayer and encouragement, if you guys are struggling with some of the stuff I talked about, yeah, uh, tell me in the comments below or uh, friend me on Facebook or, or drop me a message on Facebook and tell me what's going on. And, and you know, uh, one of the gifts I have is encouragement, so I'll, I'll uh, use that and I'll help. I'll try to help encourage you and pray for you, whatever you need. You know, you got a friend if you need it. So, yeah. I guess uh, that's the end of this vlog, and I'll see you uh, next time, ladies and gentle geeks. Bye.